Um, just for a recap for everybody that's watching this, so we are in downtown Rio de Janeiro, and much like I've done back in Canada, um, uh, the city of Rio really wants um, developers like us to come in, convert uh, old buildings into residential because they want to increase the residential density where um, where people are working. Oh, Christina, yeah, cool. Yes. plaster walls okay so here even though I mean I've dealt with this even back home so um, here the bones are really good the buildings bones are really good uh, but you can see there's a lot of cosmetic work to be done um, the total cost is done in square meter down here and at the worst we're looking at about $66 per square meter uh, per square foot rather to fix this place up um, but the rooms already have uh, bathrooms, etc. So you've already got the working plumbing. Um, and then we knock out um, holes in the wall to increase the size for one bedroom, two bedroom units. And we've designed it in such a way with our architect and you'll see here sometimes in the video. So uh, Christina Grossi is our architect and she's been great in making sure that um, we are not going to overspend on uh, renovations and that we're going to create um, uh, residential units that people want to run. Yeah. Good? Yeah. That sounded good? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Here's one of the old school elevators, which we don't have a lot of back home, but I've, I've seen these in many cities like San Diego and they're still fully in use. This one needs some more mechanicals, but it's not too bad. It's in good shape. So we're going to keep the elevator as it is. They are tolerating my Spanish because I can't speak Portuguese that well. That's what's going on right now for all the Canadians back home. I can't speak Spanish. These ceilings are even higher. So again, we're going to have a lot of fun with the, the space. So on this side of the hallway, for some reason, the ceilings are even higher. That's gonna be a 15 foot ceiling. And again, with these long, long windows bringing a lot of light and it's going to be beautiful here when we're done. When I was talking to the architect earlier as well, I don't know if you guys are seeing on the camera any of the outside, but there's some pretty boring spaces sort of in the middle of the, you know, when you look outside half of the, the units, what Christina wants to do, and apparently it's not that expensive, is create a vertical garden for them to look at. So it'll create a more inviting, mix of natural sunlight and also the, the greenery which you know when you're in a when you're in a big city anytime you can get plant life it makes you feel a lot better right so this you've got great height again and you can see uh, on this level how you have the Venetian balcony and you have the high high windows all the way to the roof so we're going to be able to make these rooms look beautiful this is going to be easier than the second floor A tourist destination with the clock. That's the clock tower on top of the main train station downtown. So you can get a sense of how big the downtown is. This is the 19th largest city in um, in the world, uh, 30th by economic uh, impact. So it, it's a very big city with a very important downtown, and that would be about uh, a little less than two kilometers away. So this is the downtown district here. In fact. Uh, the number one cancer center in the entire state of Rio de Janeiro is literally right across the street. 
uh, which of course is very important to uh, us and the desirability of having residential here. You know, we'll end up with a lot of nurses and that sort of thing living here, working over there. Oh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet. These walls are very, very solid. Uh, so uh, we don't have to take, um, usually when you're doing a renovation, a lot of the work you have to do between the units is to block sound. You don't have to do that here. These are already rock solid walls and, uh, and sound is not passing through them. It saves us a lot of money on renovation. Oh, we've checked out the building and um, I'm happy with it. It looks uh, cosmetically awful. Uh, which is fine. Uh, cosmetics are cheap to fix. What's not cheap to fix is how solid these walls are, how flat the floors are, the fact that we already have the floor and we're gonna keep this hardwood. So you don't have to buy anything to, uh, to fix that up. It's gonna be um, beautiful, old Spanish, neoclassical on the outside. And then in the inside, it's going to look brand new. And this is um, going to be the first of many projects, uh, but we're really happy to um, solve a, you know, help to solve a problem for one of the great world-class cities. This is going to be exciting guys and profitable. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys uh, before we go, this is the, the sort of the roundabout where there's a lot of, uh, you'll see a lot of foot traffic, you'll see a lot of cars, but very importantly to us, that's the number one cancer center in the entire state of Rio de Janeiro, not just the city. And so with that cancer center, you're going to get a lot of technicians, you're gonna get a lot of nurses, et cetera, that are going to want to live in our building. So uh, talking with our real estate agents, doing our own research, and also talking to our architect, we can expect in this particular building, a mix of uh, university students, medical from the cancer center, you're talking about middle class uh, people, whether they're young like students or whether they're older. So yeah, historic neighborhood on the up and up. Like if the buildings right next to us have been freshly painted and renovated and uh, we're catching this thing right at the beginning and we're going to with the other buildings as well. <laughs> what we're doing right now is we're looking at an old uh, office building. It's not old actually. It looks I'm looking at this. Good, but it's and it's a bit of a slow period. Yeah. And this is what's already starting to happen. What's already starting to happen is because we are coming in and starting to renovate buildings. Other uh, big um, institutional players um, and, and building owners that are based more in Sao Paulo, which is the financial center, um, they're saying to us, hey, can you take a look at your building? Can you help us? Right, and this is going to happen more and more as we become more established here. Yeah. There, you can really see the bridge here. Yeah. Oh, bum bum bum. Yeah. Take a look at all the cars and the buses and the people and how in the buildings and how clean everything is, how vibrant everything is. Um, like the buses are all new, the cabs are all new and shiny, uh, the buildings are all in great shape, right? Obviously you've got your bad neighborhoods just like you do back in Toronto or Detroit or Chicago or any big city, um, but we're not investing there. We're investing sort of in the downtown community adjacent to where everybody works. Right now we're in the area where everybody works, right? So they're coming from the neighborhoods that we're buying into and they're traveling a very short distance to work, which are, are these buildings.
Yeah, so you can see there's the balconies. <laughs> Actually, if it's recess, it'll be fine. Right? This is, okay, so it's got Greek neoclassical. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mixed Spanish and Greek neoclassical together. Is that what they did? What they did, you, you can tell, they didn't build it one. No, every, that's. Every era is different. So that's why it's different. Got it, got it. Got it. They've got it. All the way down here? Yeah. All the way down here? And the, that, the other side of that is the bay. Got it. Got it. Okay. The wall is Chuva, agua. Chuva, chuva. <laughs> so. This place is uh, near to getting condemned, but uh, it's owned by uh, a church that's willing to sell it to us. It's in the historical area of, of not only Rio de Janeiro, but Brazil. This is where the country started. There's tons of tourists. I'm watching them outside walking past this building. There's tons of uh, restaurants and life in the building surrounding this building. And, um, um, you know, we're going to have to quote it out, but it sounds like it would be it would be profitable so and our architect is not scared so <laughs> she's very excited by the building it has good bones except for the roof so <laughs> yeah so bad roof good walls good walls so we'll have to see we'll have to see Yeah, we gotta be careful here though, don't we? On the floor? Yeah, I mean, this would be beautiful fixed up, but it's just oh, a lot of work. Wall. Yeah, the yeah. walls are amazing. We can walk on this? The walls are amazing. You know, this is uh, like, this is one of the oldest parts of, of, of Brazil. I don't know how else to put it. I mean, look at the, look, if you could show them the walls really quickly. Look at the walls. You know, you think about this as an apartment, right? Think about this as an apartment with the windows and the walls and the ceiling height. Look at that, Joe. Yeah. Man. It, it, it is. It's in, it's, been, it's in such bad disrepair, but again, if the math works, these would be beautiful, beautiful units. But long, long way to go. Sequela. 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 Peregoso. Peregoso. I actually peregoso. Uh, peregoso. That's lazy in Spanish. Uh, so tranquila. Tranquila. Tranquila, señor. Tranquila. God of War. Yes. Yeah, I keep. Yeah, yeah. It's going on. Boom, boom, boom. It's a uh, major um, um, area. Si, si, si. Siento, uh, siento más uh, grande. Yeah, storage. Yes. Venero aquí es bueno. Es bom, bom, bom. Okay. Venero, venero. Okay, bom, bom. Yeah, yeah, mix it, mix it. Sí, 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 sí. Or only original. In, uh, 
In English, live work. What? Bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> okay, guys, so I got to the end of day one. My feet are sore. Now I know how my wife feels. <laughs> but it's been great. Uh, it, it's also with a sense of relief because what I have seen matches what we've been researching on paper. So I have to admit, my general partner, Doug, uh, has been pretty accurate in what he is seeing and telling us. Now I get to see it firsthand. Um, the people are surprisingly friendly in these downtown um, in these downtown neighborhoods. Uh, I'm very happy with the opportunity. In most cases, there is, or everything I'm looking at, there's already life and vibrancy around the buildings that we're interested in renovating. So it's not like we're going into an area that's you know, bad and there's no, no people. These are places where there's already artists, there's already uh, restaurants, there's already life, there's people living in the buildings next door and they, those buildings have been updated. So I'm excited because the location is in these downtown residence uh, places, it, it, to me is a huge opportunity right now. To me, it feels like Canada and North America back in 2008, 2009, 2010. So I think we've got a real opportunity as investors to profit really, really, really well. Um, and you might've heard earlier in the video, uh, a buzzsaw going off around the corner. We're not the first people in these neighborhoods renovating. There, there are people just starting to renovate these neighborhoods right now. So um, yeah, get excited, get excited. I've really seen a lot today and my eyes have been opened. Any questions or concerns, let me know. Uh, this is Reese Trenno from the Walkerville Capital Team.